Okay, so this is where things get a little different. Um, this was more challenging for me, in my opinion, just because there's a lot of keyframes, there's stuff I had to key out, there's a lot of stuff I had to do. All right, so to get the static inside this thing right here, I put it in the camera lens. You can also put it in the eyes, just like in the Ben Khan video. But what I did, okay, so here is the next clip we're transitioning to. I'm going to put the static in the lens, but I, uh, you can also put the static in the eyes. It's easier to do this when it's just a still video or a still image. Uh, I did it where I'm moving back, so I had to add keyframes just to add it, um, just so the effects would stay with the footage. To do this, you're going to need two things. First, you're going to need a clip which has static which is this clip right here for me. It's just called Analog Static, link below. Second, you're just going to need a title. So, to make this title, I'm going to drag over here, click Title, New Title, Default Still. Click OK. Now, all you really have to do is just click on this circle thing and just make a circle, just like that. So, click that. Now, I'm going to go down, bring your title. Title 2. Put that in a thing. There you go. You have your circle. Okay. Now I need my static. So I'm going to go and get my analog static. It should be at the very top here. And I'm going to put that over it. Okay. So now what you have to what you have to do to get this in the circle so that you can change it, you're going to go to effects. You're going to look up set mat. You're going to take the set mat, drag it onto your analog static. Then you're going to go here, click on whatever video channel your title is in. Mine is in video three, like that. And there you go, it's inside the circle. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hide the video track, which has this white circle. It's up here just to put in the video track that already is hidden. Make sure you go through and you change whatever channel it is, if you change the channel, by the way, or it won't work. Okay. So hide that, and now you can see you have the circle alone, because if you don't do that, whenever you move this static right here, there's going to be a white circle behind it. But if you do, if you hide the track, then it's just going to be static in a circle. So it's kind of a neat little trick. Okay, so I'm going to find the exact point right here where the lens shows up, and I'm just going to move that so it lines up. I'm going to double click this, and I'm just going to make the scale all the way full. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the motion I'm just gonna go through the motion and I'm just gonna do the keyframes I'm not gonna do them all like I said because it takes a long time but what you do you take position you take scale okay you go here you go back to where I'm zoomed out and you're just gonna change this position make the scale smaller like that you're gonna just gonna change these three little sliders right here here to match perfectly Okay, back a little, go further a little bit more like that. Click back on your thing, change the scale, change the position, just like that. So here's what it looks like. It's going to be sloppy just because I didn't go through with um, perfection, but if you add the more keyframes you add, the better it's going to look. So here's what it looks like. As you can see, so now I'm going to talk about the um, video effects that I put over this instead of just the um, keyframes for the crops and stuff. So what I'm going to do is you see this bar right here. I'll show you how to do this. I'll show you how to add this grain and then this VHS thing here before. That's the same clip that I used before. I just reused it. If you guys want to know how to select a clip, if these two are linked together like this without deleting the video, what do you do is you just hold down alt and then you click and then it'll just select the one track. It'll isolate it. Then you can click delete grain go to noise and then just drag noise on here and just add some noise make it like VHS -y, you know I'm gonna add I'm gonna put it I usually put it on 30 just like that now I'm gonna show you guys the little video crop stutter which I was talking about before what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to click on your clip you're gonna want to hold down alt and drag it up so you have a duplicate copy now what you're going to want to do is click on this and just make it 15, go from 100 to 115. There you go, so it's a little bit zoomed in. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look up the crop effect and drag that on there. Okay, so once that's cropped, let's go down to the crop effect in my effect control panel for the one that's layered on top. And you're just going to want to crop the top 
crop the bottom, make this bar. You see this bar right here, like that, like it's kind of like broken footage. And then what you're going to want to do, I'm going to go to the, the beginning of this clip to make it kind of scroll down the screen. Is we're just going to do a quick little position keyframe. If you followed all the steps, steps before, this should probably be like muscle memory for you by now. And I'm just going to go like this position, normal right there, toggle, bring it down. As you can see, it's moving down all the way down like that. Okay. So there you go. You can also cut this just so it's not constantly like that. So give it a few seconds. Make a cut again. Delete that out. Set the frame size. Make it a little bit better, bigger just so it fits like that. Okay, so as you can see here, it's just a normal video of him just standing there. And what I want to do is I want to make it wavy. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to look up warp and you don't pick warp stabilizer you pick wave warp drag that on there go to effect controls you're going to want to make it sign and you can just tweak this to however if you to however you want um, like that's kind of cool add those other effects like I said hold down alt drag it there so now you just have a copy and this one I'm going to make I'm going to make it noise I'm going to make it over here and bigger and I'm going to make the blend mode overlay screen actually eh. hmm pin light that looks kind of cool and I'll put the opacity down a little bit just so it doesn't overshadow it. so I'll even keyframe that just so it can move a little bit so there is your motion. So the only thing I didn't show you was the um, second transitions between the clips because I already showed you how to do it the very first time. Anyways, let me just give you a rundown of literally all the effects I showed you in this video. So for the transitions, I showed you the luma fade, I showed you the zoom, the blend mode and the effect controls to add an overlay. I showed you keyframing with positioning. I showed you keyframing with color. I showed you the set matte effect and how to put it in the title so that you can get this cut off kind of static look that you can put in people's eyes. You can put a camera lens like how I did here. Looking footage look by using crops and how to use duplicate layers and keyframes. Also showed you the warp effect to create to create this kind of look and also this little gr this and also the glitch effect which is built within the warp effect. Okay. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's definitely a more advanced video because there's a lot of things that I haven't even made separate tutorials for that I probably can and I probably should that are built into this video. But follow it step by step. You can create some cool effects. You can create some cool trip music videos. You can put them in your regular music videos. You can, you can incorporate these effects that I showed you with effects that you already know. And then the key to mastering how to do all this is take everything I just showed you, create an awesome video, and then match it with the music. Because the reason I complete the, the only reason I make videos like this is I search for something, I can't find it. So I just take little parts of things that are similar to it, and then I just do it myself, and then I share it with you guys. So now it's on the internet, it's a part of the editing community. And then I also like to vlog a lot, so I incorporate this kind of editing style in my vlogs, and I like helping people um, do cool new things with their vlogs, give it a core, give and give it a kind of like cinematic edge. So thumbs up if you want more people to see this. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna start editing this footage. It's probably gonna take me a while because I talked a lot in between all of this stuff. Other videos if you want to see some more cool editing stuff or some vlogs, and I'll see you guys later.